think so. Mm. I think, I'm not absolutely certain about that, well, but I think so. Maybe I know more than you do, because I think, uh, can you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes, the doctor allows all his traveling companions Because you understand. are, you're an alien, aren't you? Yes, but I am originally descended from Earth. Ah. And a long time ago, what, you, you, you took off and... Not me personally, but my ancestors took off and yes. landed in the galaxy somewhere. Yes. You're much more revealed than... than <laughs> isn't she, Doctor? She, she is. She's exactly. more revealed I than... I was, I, was, I was astonished. <laughs> what, in spite of all his travels, I've led a comparatively sheltered life. <laughs> What are the qualities? What are the qualities that you you, you look for in, in a companion? That's a hard question. Ah, because I gather I gather you see that that uh, uh, that Leela, isn't it? Yes. yes. Um, she's very lovely, isn't she? That Leela is a very positive person, more more of a competitor, really. That she's 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 not so docile. No, I don't think she is so docile. I think the sort of companion I like is the sort of companion I just like. Yes. But do you regard yourself as an equal to the Doctor? I don't think equality even enters her mind. I mean, she's just... Hmm. I have one aim, and I go out and try and do it. Yes, but you're going to be more competitive, I think, aren't you, with oh, the Doctor? Oh, yes, I think there's a little aggravation between the two. <laughs> well, fine, you were talking about her in the third person, uh, or the second person, or whichever person it is. Let's talk to you in your own person, Louise Jameson. Yes. Now, uh, you, you've you been doing a lot of uh, a lot of Shakespeare with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Uh, it, it seems, in a way, uh, I mean, an enviable thing to be the Doctor's travelling companion, but an, an odd change for you, perhaps? Yes, it is not transition. The, the difference between um, classical and modern isn't so great, but the difference between theatre and television is enormous. Mm. And I've had relatively little television experience, so it's a tremendous break for me. Why did you particularly want to do this part? Oh, well, I think if you asked any actress that, I mean, it's uh, commercially, it's a lot of exposure, but it's also, I mean, it's something Tom's always saying. It's just there's no other program like it. It's just extraordinary. We can conquer the world in 25 minutes. It's just... Because do you, do you actually love the program? I mean, you are a doctor, but you're also uh, uh, an actor called Tom Baker. Do you love, do you love the program? Oh, yes. Mm. Adore it. Well, to both of you, um, the, the problem possibly of being so identified as, as Doctor Who, um, is that a problem professionally? No, I don't think so, really. I think it's a big advantage uh, to be associated with, for the only fantastical program on British television can only be an advantage to any actor. I mean, it's, uh, as far as the audience that uh, we are concerned with, it's infinitely more interesting for that audience than if one is associated with something really appalling like, um, we say like Kojak. <laughs> I mean, that's so commonplace. Isn't it? <clears throat> what? So graceless, no fun, really. Why do you think children love it so much? Um, and that's a, that's a hard question because because of the strict limits of the character, who, of whoever plays the do of the Doctor, mm. such as you know, no impulse to violence, no guns, no um, no overt interest in women. Nothing, none of those ordinary impulses that motivate all the other characters. One would really think that it took all attention out of the character. It isn't. I think probably the children, particularly, are amazed by the whole notion of being able to travel through time and space. And I think also they're very engaged by the style of the piece. You know, the BBC has got great expertise in this programme. It's been running a long time now. And I think we are off the floor. Yes. And I suppose it's because there isn't anything really quite like it. One last question. Were you a viewer of, of Doctor Who before? Oh, yes, very much so. I mean, as a, as a child, I used to watch it. It started, what, 13 years ago? Right. Well, very good luck to you. Thank we'll, we'll you.